So is Christ the fulfillment of Sabbath? I think um, we have to say absolutely yes, Christ is the fulfillment of the Sabbath. He is utterly and completely the fulfillment of the Sabbath. He said, uh, come to me all you who are weary and heavy burdened and I will give you what? Uh, I will give you rest. And so we um, have to, we, we, we rethink everything in light of Christ. Um, Christ is the climactic moment of salvation history. And there's a very real way in which we see Christ as the fulfillment of Sabbath. Um, he is the one in whom we rest. It's into this ocean that all the streams empty. Um, it's uh, here where work terminates in, in our absolute and our final rest. Um, having said that, though, I think it's important to say two other things. One is that um, um, there are all sorts of indications that Sabbath is a part of the created order, that uh, that there's a continuity in the Sabbath. It's a part of the structure of creation, and Christ reaffirms that aspect that we were uh, the Sabbath was made for us, not us for the Sabbath. That points to the something about our humanity, something about the created order. So it's not as though Christ fulfills it in the sense of doing away with it. Uh, so it look, we look back to creation. Um, it's also Christ fulfills the Sabbath, but there's also there remains a rest for the people of God. Hebrews 4, we talked about that. So there's also a sense in which we do still look forward to the, uh, the final fulfillment of this in our heavenly rest. So Christ fulfills the Sabbath, but that doesn't mean that we somehow escape creation. Uh, into some kind of uh, New Jerusalem uh, right now. And we also look forward to our final rest being ultimately one that is in the world to come.